In this video, I'll go over question 7 from the IB Math SL exam that was given in May 2015, uh, time zone 2. So it's kind of a tricky one, and it's uh, strangely worth 7 marks, though there's not a lot to it. Um, it's a probability distribution question, sort of, a uh, fair game question mostly. So a bag contains black and white chips, and Rose plays $10, pays $10 to play a game, where she's just going to randomly draw a chip from the bag. Um, she has a 0.4 probability of choosing a black chip and a 0.6 probability of choosing a white chip. She gets no money if she gets a white chip and K dollars if she draws a black chip. The game is fair. Find the value of K. Um, so what we need to know about fair games is that the expected value, which in a probability distribution question um, is usually notated EVEX, the expected value... Um, should equal the amount that you pay to play. Um, if there's no money mentioned in the question, that would be zero. So the expected value equals zero is a really common way of looking at a fair game question. Um, but if the person playing the game is paying money to play, then the expected value of the of the game, um, the expected output of money, uh, should also be ten dollars. That would make it fair. If she had a reasonable chance of getting her money back, um, then it would be a fair game. Uh, so the way we're going to go about setting this up is to say um, a black chip here is worth k dollars. So the probability of her earning um, k dollars is 0.4. If she reaches into the bag and pulls out one chip and the whole game is based on that, what are the chances she's going to earn the k dollars? 0.4. And a white chip is worth 0 dollars. So the um, expected value from this table, if it's 0.4 chance that you're going to get k dollars and a 0.6 chance that you're going to get 0 dollars, you can imagine setting this up as um, k multiplied times uh, zero, oops, 0 0.4, messed that up, common mistake in this question actually, uh, plus 0 multiplied by 0.6. So it's each uh, possible outcome, a monetary outcome, multiplied by its probability. So this is how you calculate expected value. And here we want that to equal 10 because that's how much she's paying to play the game. So this is the equation for expected value, you know, each x times its probability. And then here we know that we want it to equal 10. Uh, so we can solve for k. 0 times 0.6 is just 0. So what we have here is uh, k times 0.4 equals 10. Divide both sides by 0.4. Uh, some people got stuck just here. So they actually got this far and then couldn't, without a calculator, figure out how to divide these decimals. There's a couple ways you'd go about doing it. Um, you could just move the decimal over one spot and make it not be a decimal, which works as long as you do it to the other numbers in the question as well. So k equals 100 divided by 4. And then you can see that it's 25. And then if you, that's the answer for K. And if you stop and think about it now, knowing that K is 25 makes a lot of sense. So if she stands to um, win $25 on this game, you can understand why she would contribute $10 to play, right? So it's just one chip being pulled out of a bag. Why would you pay $10 and take that chance? Well, because if you stand to win $25 and you see these probabilities, you're thinking, hmm, I have a 4 in 10 chance, or a 0.4 probability, that I'll get the $25. So it's worth it to me, um, or it's, it's not really worth it, it just means that it's, it's, uh, it's reasonable to expect that you're going to get um, the, the money back that you've put into it, especially if you play a whole bunch of times. Uh, so that's the idea of a fair game question. Again, not a lot of math behind it, it's altogether worth 7 marks. Um, so it's an important concept to know going into exam time, that fair game means expected value should equal the amount you pay to play. That's it.